everyone, this is Susie with Creative Cafe, and this is the typography album that I have made, and I made it really similar to the uh, Couture album. It's nearly identical, except for just a couple of things that I've changed, uh, but anyway, they are the same style, but anyway, I wanted to show you this. This here I actually uh, made for a swap that I'm um, doing with uh, Kira. And anyway, I hope that uh, you like this. I hope that this is kind of uh, maybe what you had in mind. <clears throat> and um, anyway, the typography is just really cute. It has a lot of the uh, colors in it that are just so uh, bright. The greens and the reds and the yellows um, are almost like an orange here. And it's, they're just gorgeous. So uh, anyway, this is Graphic 45's new collection that they've not had out very long. And uh, this is the cover. And I simply uh, just cut this out of the, uh, I can't remember if I cut this out of the 8x8 or the 12x12. 12 12. Probably the 12x12 12 12 is what I cut this uh, out of here to put on the front of this album. And, and uh, the rest of the papers, though, uh, and the book size is an 8x8. 8 8, so anyway, I used the twine binding, just like I did in the Couture al uh, album. And... Uh, Put my seam binding there and you open it up and I have these large tags and this did come out of the 12 by 12 uh, and I always end up getting adhesive on the pages no matter how hard I try to get that off of there before I stick them in it just seems like there's always adhesive hanging somewhere uh, but anyway they're little tags and you can put a picture on the back and there are six of them And then, of course, this here um, is just the 8x8 paper, and I added a band here to slip these, uh, slip these tags in. And then here is the little booklet. And like I said, this is just pretty similar, the same thing as I did to the couture. Uh, added a little tab on the bottom. Um, here is the little pocket that I made, and I stuck a couple of tags in it four by six photos here and here and then here is just for a smaller photo or even journaling whichever you know you decide and then it just simply ties up I'm just gonna tie it kinda loosely I'll go back and tie it better here after a while <clears throat> and then on this page I did pick the uh, belly band and just added a chipboard piece from the collection and then here I added a little space for a couple of photos and then uh, this actually comes off and then it opens up for a little booklet and a photo and then there and I'll kind of put that back on when I put the book up and uh, <clears throat> here is just a a little pocket I created out of some cardstock. I added a Seven Gypsies postcard here and of course just cut out some of the paper. Here is some of the tags. And this is from the 8x8 here and then a couple of places for photo there and they just slip in right behind the postcard and I did also use the label maker here and just added create and then on the back side uh, inside the pocket I do have well that was the same thing I just did are those tags and you could also put pictures it's large enough that uh, it can hold a couple of the uh, uh, six by six photos in the in this uh, little pocket here cardstock pocket and then this opens up and I just added a couple places for a couple little photos or even journaling and added the little create ticket sticker to it and then here is that interactive page right here and it has the photo mat and then behind the the cover piece there is just a little pocket that I've added a couple of the tags from the collection and uh, you could add a couple little pictures behind these long ones or you could even just journal just save it for journaling that goes there. Of course, added the 
chipboard tag there. And then on this page here, I have a little pocket. Uh, write your own story. And I just filled it with some tags and, of course, a 4 by 6 photo map that, you know, that you can get the photo in there that's not attached down. So there is that. And the tags just kind of sit there. And then here is just a little um, craft envelope. Well, it's actually a card set that came with the envelope and all, and I took the piece that you you would actually use for the card and just uh, stuck it down and made a pocket out of it. Um, and it has four little tags that set in right here. And then here are the other two tags. And I added some recollections bling, of course, and some seam binding. And then here, on the back of the little pocket, I added a little pull-out, a little pull-out uh, thing, and it has glue on it, as usual. But anyway, you can put photos there, and you can put photos there. So, and then it just kind of folds back up. It's kind of like a tri-fold, only not going uh, into each other. It's going to spring out. And just get that tied a little bit. And then here is, I think I'm taking the, taking the little uh, material with me here. Here is a uh, another pocket, and that's just a little tag, and I just stapled the typography piece on it. And of course, this is the three and a half by five photo mat here, and it'll hold several pictures. Just a little booklet there. And then here is the back, and it just slides in, and then the little tag goes back in. And then on this page is another little just photo mat booklet, and you open it up, and I actually have, uh, you could put photos in here. I didn't put the mats in, but anyway, it's got photos here, and there is the pockets. Okay. I already forgot what I did because I thought it was a photo map booklet, but it's not. And then I'll just fold that later. And then here uh, is another small uh, wallet size photo that you can put here. And I did add the little live, love, and laugh uh, uh, pieces here that I just used the label maker to make. And then on the back side, I just have the uh, little etc. Anyway, this here, like I said, it is an album that I made for my swap uh, partner. And anyway, I hope that she likes it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.